Hi everyone, this is Dennis with MainWP, and in this video I'm going to go over the basic MainWP dashboard navigation. This is the overview page that you see when you log into your dashboard, but for this video we're going to ignore the center part of the screen and instead focus on our main navigation bar over here and our header navigation bar over here. We have the MainWP main navigation panel. When your WordPress site is in MainWP dashboard mode, this navigation replaces the normal WordPress admin menu and provides quick access to all MainWP sections. Going down the list, we have Overview, Updates, Sites, Post, Pages, Themes, Plugins, Users, Settings, Extensions, and Status. And when you see one of these left pointed arrows, it means that you can expand that menu and see the subsections contained there. Now, if you go to the very bottom of this menu, you'll see the option to return to your normal main WP admin. We'll just click that and you see you're back at your normal WordPress site. We'll go back to our dashboard. And if we go to our top, we have the main WP header menu. Going from left to right, we have the sync dashboard with child site button. This button allows your dashboard to gather fresh data from your child sites. Your dashboard will automatically try to sync with the child sites once a day, but you can force it to sync by pressing this button. I highly recommend syncing when you first log in and before updating plugins, themes, or searching for pages or posts. Just press the button. You'll see it's reaching out to your child sites and it's gathering all the information from those child sites. And once it's gathered all the information, it'll close itself up and you'll have all updated information on all your pages. The next button is the add new button. It uses a drop down menu to jump to the correct main WP section, depending on what you want to do. You can add a new website, add a new post, add a new page, add a new plugin, a theme, or a user. And anytime you see this cog looking button, that's your screen options. That means you can make selections to show more or less of a page. It can be different for each page and not all pages have them. If we do a quick jump over to the updates page, you'll see it does not have the screen option button. That means there are no screen options for this page. So go back to overview. We can press that just to give you an idea what screen options look like. First thing is you can hide the update everything button if you don't want to deal with that. Move your widgets around from one or two columns or even add or remove certain widgets that you don't want to see. Next up is your quick site shortcuts. This allows you to jump to specific sections for each child site. So you'll get a list of your child sites and then you can just press and you can jump to overview updates for each individual child site. The circle life buoy icon opens the knowledge based documentation for the page you're on. So if you have any questions, you can just jump right in there. To the right of that is the main WP community button, which takes you directly to a community of fellow users. The last button in the standard menu brings you to your main WP account. If you click that, you go to mainwp.com my account. At times, you'll see this red exclamation point in your header. This shows you there's a non main WP update available for your dashboard site and allows you to jump back into your normal WordPress updates page to perform these updates. If you click that, we'll see what updates are available for this site. And we can see we have a plugin update, so we'll select that. Update the plugin. And then once that is updated, we're able to go back to our main WP dashboard. And you'll see that red exclamation point is no longer there. And that is main WP navigation. Again, I'm Dennis, and I'll see you in the next video.